everybody. Are you looking for a bag to keep your gear dry and protected no matter what the elements are? Well, let me talk to you about the Apex 40 liter duffel bag from Viking Bags. All right, now that we're inside and out of the rain, let me talk to you a little bit more about this bag. So again, this is the Viking Bags Apex 40 liter duffel bag. One of the things I really appreciate this bag is you saw at the beginning, we have the sealable backpack straps tucked right into the bottom of the bag here. As you can see, there's these two loops down here at the bottom of the straps. All you gotta do, unbuckle those, feed them through the loops at the bottom side of the bag. And just like that, your bag is ready to go with you. Now, if you don't wanna use the backpack straps, that's simple. You just keep them tucked away in that pouch on the back. Let's say you're not going too far with the bag or you're not carrying it any crazy amount of distance or anything. And all you want to do is grab it. You've got one handle right here on the top side of the bag. You've got another handle here on the left and another handle here on the right. So you've got four different ways to carry this bag, whether it be left, right, middle, or the backpack straps. So starting with the top of the bag, all right? Notice this is made out of a super durable ballistic nylon material. It's rugged, it's tough, it's gonna keep your gear protected. Next thing we notice right here, we got this nice molly pouch to put additional panels on, or pardon me, the molly panel if you wanna put additional pouches on here, water bottle holders, uh, document, like admin pouches, anything like that. If there's something that you wanna put or attach to this bag, as long as it's molly compatible or if you can run a strap through here and tie a smaller bag to the top, you can do that too. So we got these three heavy duty two inch buckles keeping the top lid shut. We open this first top flap, we got this nice mesh pocket right here. Great for holding toiletries, great for holding uh, charging banks, charging cables, anything like that. The great thing is the inside of this pouch, just like the rest of this lid, has this super thick rubber material to help keep everything waterproof from the top of the bag. <clears throat> Moving on to the second pouch on the top, we've got this nice clear opening right here, clear pocket, huge pocket, great for putting maps in, documents, anything that you want to keep nice and dry but still have visibility on, you can put right in here. This pocket opens up pretty good size. You can fit a handful of documents or a pretty sturdy map in there, maybe two or three maps, depending on what size they are and what you're doing. But if you don't like keeping a big tank bag like me, this would be great to put a map in. That way you can pull over, check your map, and make sure you're on track with where you're supposed to be going. Again, thick rubber membrane on the inside of the flap to help keep everything underneath it waterproofed and dry. Next, we have this great pouch right here that runs the length of the bag. I personally like this because I can put my wet weather gear in here. I can put uh, base layers in here so if it starts getting chilly, I can reach in and easily access those under layers to change into real quick. Or I can have my wet weather, or and I can have my wet weather gear in here. That way when I start getting rained on, pull over, open the top flap, pop this open, pull the rain gear out, close it up, and I'm good to go. Don't even have to take it off the bike to get to those pockets. All right, moving on to the inside of the bag. So to give you an idea of how much this is, this 40 liter capacity right now, the only thing I have in here is the waterproof inner bag that comes with this and a cover for a 2023 Ski-Doo Tundra snow machine. Um, it's a full length cover, so it's a pretty good size, pretty thick cover. Um, I'm getting ready to take that over to a friend's house today and thought the Viking bags would be a great way to test out. Keeping it dry, keeping it protected while I do that drive over to my buddy's house today on my Africa Twin. So as you can see, we've got roll top lids on both sides. This is also great if you want something uh, and it's on either side of the bag. You don't only have one side to open and dig through the entire bag to get to it You can go from either the left or right side and have quick easy access to those items as long as you remember where you pack them. That's a problem for me again 
It's got this waterproof liner. The only thing I've got in here right now is that snow machine cover, and I still have a lot of room. It probably takes up about a third of this bag. So to give you an idea of how much room this is, I'm gonna undo those buckles real quick. Again, this is the waterproof liner that comes in the bag. It is removable, as you can see, and it does have a clasp on, or a butt buckle on either side to secure your gear. Now here's that snow machine cover, right? And it, it only took up half the bag. So I'm gonna set this aside for now. And again, waterproof liner that comes on the inside, all the way through, you've got all that room at your disposal to pack however you like to pack, whatever your most efficient method is, right? Everybody packs a little differently, but you have a lot of room to work with here. So once you're ready to put your bag back together, take that waterproof liner, You've got four Velcro straps on either side to attach it to. And just like that, your Viking Bags Apex 40 liter duffel is ready to go. So, now that we've covered the bag itself, the material, what it's made out of, that touristic nylon, let's talk about mounting on the 2021 Africa Twin. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about mounting this bag. So these straps come with the bag and they're pretty universal to just about any bike out there. As long as you have attachment points for these straps, you got a way to mount it, all right? So I have a 2021 Africa Twin. Uh, this is the base model manual transmission so it doesn't come with this rack but uh, i went and bought the adventure sport rack from honda and installed it on here that way i had a little bit more carrying capacity and a couple more options just for stowing luggage if i don't want to put my side bags on so if i didn't have this on here it'd be too easy to mount these straps down here to the frame to the pannier racks or to anywhere that your bike might have access to so again i could run this strap right here it's just a simple loop fastener and if i didn't want it right here or i didn't have this rear rack on my bike i could take it and run it down here and i'd still be able to run it all the way up to that apex duffel bag which will sit right up here but for me, since I have that rear rack, I'm going to go ahead and use it because it keeps the bike looking a little bit cleaner, a little bit more organized, which personal preference for me, right? So again, take that loop fastener, I'm going to run it right through this opening here. And I'm going to feed the buckles through. And just like that, I've got a secure attaching point for this bag. So I've got it set up the same on both sides, right here, right here. And then I got this tail end of the strap running to the back. Close up the bag. And I'm going to show you how to put it through or attach it with those universal mounting straps. show you this with the bag empty just to kind of help give you an idea of how to attach it on there. 
personally, it is easier to do this with something in the bag. That way it gives you a little bit more rigid, of a rigid uh, surface to work with. So you got this large openings right here. That's going to be the front of your bag. And then on the back side, you've got two smaller openings right here underneath where the buckles run through to help close that lid. So again, you got two smaller openings there. That's the back side of the bag. And then you've got the two large openings up front. That'll be the front. So you're going to start by opening the bag. Just like that. And take your buckles. Feed it through the large opening on the front. You're going to go here to the back side and you're going to take this long strap here. And if you make your buckles overly tight like I do, you just pop them loose real quick. I'm going to access that pocket on the bottom. Feed that one through there. Find the hole. Feed that strap through. Without tangling it up on anything. There we go. That was my own doing right there. You're going to take this buckle, open it up. Feed that strap through. Again, the way that I have this set up, it helps if there's something in the bag just to help give it a little bit more rigidity, keep it a little more stable. But these straps are plenty long to where even if you have nothing in here, tighten them down. So you're planning on going to pick something up and you know it'll fit in your bag. Take it, cinch it down nice and tight. The great part is you have these Velcro loops on the top, so you take all that excess strap Fold it over on itself like so. And do that Velcro right there. And just like that, you've got a nice way to secure those straps, keep them from flapping out in the wind, keep them from getting tangled up on the rest of your gear, um, getting caught up on something, getting caught up in a tire or on the chain or anything like that. Because these straps are very long, which means you have plenty of room to figure out where you're going to strap them and how you're going to put them on your bike. And then these ones have the built-in straps right there that you could roll up and strap them shut. But I'm just going to tuck them over, close up the bag, Get out of there. And then these ones also have the Velcro straps on there. That way you can take all this excess, bunch it up, and Velcro it down and keep it nice and secure. So again, biking bags. Apex, 40 liter duffel, universal mounting straps to put it on just about any adventure bike out there. This is a great bag. It's great for the price point. It sells for 229 
183 if you can get the coupon. Strongly recommend reaching out to Viking Bags. Ask about that coupon for just under $185. This is a giant bag. It's very versatile. It has so many options for how you want to stow all of your gear and equipment. And it's quick, removable, and easily accessible. So, VikingBags.com. Check out the Apex 40 liter duffel today. Have a great day. Ride safe.